If you've been following whistleblower or hacker related news, you may have noticed that some group websites have started to accept donation in a form called Bitcoin. Now, what exactly is Bitcoin? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain what Bitcoin is, and I'm going to demonstrate how to start using it yourself. So what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a digital currency powered by a peer-to-peer -peer network used primarily for internet transactions. So what are the benefits of using Bitcoin? Well, it's as anonymous as cash. It's impossible to charge back, unlike PayPal or a credit card. It's not controlled by a central government, and it is impossible to inflate uh, due to a mass printing. So let's get started using Bitcoin. Uh, well, the first thing we have to do is get a wallet, which is a program that is used to store our Bitcoin. There are desktop wallets available, and there are online wallets that are available. The most popular uh, desktop wallet is available at Bitcoin.org. And just go ahead and download the client uh, for your operating system. So uh, once the client is installed, go ahead and go to Start, uh, All Programs and Bitcoin and the, launch the Bitcoin software and once you launch it you will uh, see the Bitcoin program go ahead and note your Bitcoin address as you will need that for use in your Bitcoin transactions now if you would prefer a online wallet uh, go ahead and open up your web browser then go ahead and navigate uh, to mybitcoin.com and go ahead and sign up for this website and once you sign up you will see your payment address on your front page and go ahead and note that so once you have bitcoins um, we're going to go ahead and show you how to get some free coins uh, to that uh, go ahead and proceed or to open up a web browser and go ahead and navigate to freebitcoins.appspot.com or also known as the Bitcoin Faucet. This website will provide uh, 0 0.0001 bitcoins uh, to any user who just clicks on get some now. Well, I've already grabbed some, but if you uh, go ahead and click it, you will see a prompt to put in your Bitcoin address. Now there is one more way that I've seen to get free coins. And this is uh, possible if you open up a web browser and navigate to dragons.tl and download this game. Uh, this is a casino style game that even though I do not recommend gambling, uh, it will provide you uh, free bitcoins uh, by uh, going ahead to the 24 statues in the game and examining them and receiving free uh, BTM. Uh, so here's a clip of me just walking around in the game and clicking on the statue and clicking search for a gift and uh, one BTM is equivalent to 0 .001 uh, BTC or bitcoins so once you have a uh, uh, 0.010 BTM uh, you'll be able to uh, withdraw the coins so go ahead and copy your bitcoin address from your wallet and head over to utility and then click uh, withdraw uh, bitcoins and then in here just go ahead and control V or paste in uh, your bitcoin address and type in your amount that you want to withdraw and then go ahead and click on OK and then all you have to do is wait uh, about 10 minutes to a half an hour or so for the, the transaction to be confirmed and you should see the bitcoins added to your account and it should look uh, something like this uh, now um, that those are two ways to get free bitcoins but the currently the most popular way of getting coins is buying them through a currency exchange and because paypal doesn't allow uh, th this kind of stuff, uh, we need to use a different middleman to uh, bring our currencies into the exchange. And the most popular, 
popular one used is Dwalla. So go ahead and navigate to Dwalla.com and sign up for an account. And once you um, go ahead and log in, uh, we are going to um, insert our bank account information to set up a wire transfer. So go ahead and click on add bank account and add in your banking information. Now please note for this tutorial that I've put in a lot of bogus information here uh, for my own uh, security purposes. So once you uh, set up wire transfers and it's verified, uh, go ahead and open up a web browser and navigate to mountgox.com and currently this is the most popular Bitcoin exchange. So uh, go ahead and sign up uh, for this website. And then proceed to click add funds. And once we're here, uh, go ahead and open Dwalla as a new tab. And then uh, go ahead and log in. And once you log in, uh, we're going to proceed to uh, add some funds. And you can do this by putting in the account number and the message that Mt. Gox provides uh, into the details in here. And go ahead and type in the amount that you want to add to the exchange. And under source, be sure to choose your bank account and payment type as services and assume the costs. And then again, for details, uh, use the following prompt that Mt. Gox gives you on the page. Okay, so once you have added some funds to the exchange, uh, go ahead and click on uh, trade. And once you uh, click on trade, uh, go ahead to um, choose the amount of coins that you want to buy and click on buy coins and once you have bought the coins uh, go ahead and withdraw them to your Bitcoin wallet using your Bitcoin address okay so there's one more way of getting coins and that's through Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin mining is the process of generating blocks used to record Bitcoin transactions over the network. And blocks are necessary to prevent double spending. Now, blocks are generated by Bitcoin miners. And here are some uh, benefits for bit Bitcoin mining is that whenever uh, you generate blocks, which by the way requires a large amount of GPU or CPU power, um, you are awarded 50. Uh, B, uh, BTM or Bitcoins per block plus any transaction fees that are sent to the network. Also, and note that one block is generated every 10 minutes. So in order to uh, do some Bitcoin mining, uh, we're going to go ahead and open up a web browser and sign up to join a mining pool. And now one that I've seen that's very easy to use for uh, beginning miners is bitminer.com. So go ahead and sign up for uh, this website. And once you've signed up, go ahead and um, add a new machine and add in your Bitcoin payment address. And then you're going to want to proceed to go up to uh, tools and download the Bitcoin mining tool. And please note you're going to need Java to uh, run this Bitcoin miner. Now once you have downloaded the program, uh, go ahead and enter in your login credentials. And then go ahead and click on engine start. And then you should be mining Bitcoins. And my computer kind of sucks because I have a 
a very, very slow processor, but if you have a, a more up-to-date uh, gra graphics card and processor, you should be generating at a lot of faster rates. And so uh, that's basically it. Uh, I've explained um, how to get your own uh, Bitcoins. Uh, now, one more thing that I have to show you is how to uh, make payments. And this is whenever you uh, do any transaction uh, over the internet using Bitcoins. Uh, so to make a payment, we're just going to use our Bitcoin wallet. And depending on which client you use, uh, there should be a place to uh, send your coins. So go ahead and click that button or link and paste in the address that you want to pay coins to and type in the amount. And note, depending on the amount, you may be required to uh, pay a transaction fee. And this is uh, to pay for the miner because the miner is uh, making the blocks for you. And go ahead and, and adjust it appropriately and pay for the uh, transaction fee. And then that's it. Uh, you have successfully sent Bitcoins to a specific person that you have done business with. So, um, now what? Well, um, there, there's many things that you can do with Bitcoins. Um, if you head over to en.bitcoin.it slash wiki slash trade, you can find uh, many merchants that are currently uh, trading stuff via Bitcoin. And if you still don't know what to do with them, um, well, they are a very good investment. In fact, Bitcoin has risen from pennies worth in value in 2010 to currently around $14 to $15 uh, today. And if you still don't know what to do with them, uh, go ahead and drop them over to me at my uh, Bitcoin address. I'll use them uh, for funding my video tutorials and my channel. And that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please go to thehackersjournal.com.